proceed. Today, I wanna to talk about measuring up this housing we have for axles. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do this E, F, and G dimension. So I'll put the diagram up here. We're looking at the E, F, and G. So E is going to be the total housing width from outside of housing end to outside of housing end. The F dimension will be outside of housing end to center of pinion on the driver's side. The G dimension will be the passenger side from the center of the pinion to the outside of the housing end. Okay, so first thing, let's measure up the total housing width. So outside of housing end to outside of housing end. You can see here that I have clamped on a straight edge, just a ruler. So I got my tape measure here, right here. I'm gonna hook it on that straight edge. I've got the tape measure here. We are right at 60 inches right on the money. So we know this has Torino style housing ends. So we're gonna have a two and a half inch axle stick out per side, about a quarter inch per side for your rotor thickness. So this setup will end up being 65 and a half inches from wheel mounting surface to wheel mounting surface once in the vehicle. So let's do the F and G dimensions. So the F and G's, like I said, center of pinion to outside of housing end on each side. So this, at this point, we're just double checking. I know it's a center pinion. The drive shaft's going to be dead centered. So if you go from the center line of the pinion, this tool is pretty handy because you put it right on these center section studs that we put in. You go to outside of housing end. So right at 30 inches on this side. Go from straight edge right here to the center line of the pinion, 30 inches on this side. So the drive shaft on this rear end is going to be dead centered. One way you could double check that if you don't have this center tool, measuring tool, put your center section in. Take this, take these clamps, take the straight edge. So I'll show you what I've got here. It's just a ruler and a couple of clamps. So what we're doing here, putting this right up on the housing end, clamp it up, clamp it up. And if you had your center section mounted in here, we can do this on a future episode, but you hook that on the outside of that straight edge and go to the center of the drive shaft. So the center of the pinion right here, the center of that pinion nut is what we're looking for there. So we can calculate your axle dimensions based on that. Now, one thing that you need to be aware of is do not say I need two 30 inch axles. Don't, don't say that. So be very clear with your words about what you're measuring here because a lot of people can get kind of messed up when you're measuring axles. There's some people out there that make tools that give you axle lengths. Uh, we don't use those, but you need to make sure what your tool is giving you. This is going from the very center of the drive shaft to the outside of the housing end, and it's locating the center line of the pinion, so right here. So there are spools that are splined to the outside edge. There are some posies that require a longer axle, like on the uh, passenger side, you might have a posy that's a worm gear style unit that requires another half inch. Um, some of the uh, posies, like the 35 spline True Track, a lot of manufacturers, make the axles longer so um, this dimension has no correlation with the axle measurements i mean we use the housing dimensions and the posi specs as far as what you're doing to calculate the axle lengths but don't take these as axle measurements because you'll notice like the the axles the the center of the axles are not center with the drive shaft they the location of the splines and the posi is in no way related to the center line of the pinion. So don't let that, don't let that all confuse you. L lean on us. Say, hey, this is my housing specs. This is what posi I'm running. You figure out the axle measurements. We'll take care of that for you. So, so um, I, I don't want to overcomplicate it, but different posies, different spools, they often do have different spline locations. So. I don't want you to order a set of axles and say, hey, give me two 30-inch axles, or I don't want you to say, you know, well, it's just like my other rear making this length. Be very clear about what posi, what spool you're running. Uh, be very clear about how you're taking your dimensions. I like to use the word no axle. So some people say the word flange, like flange to flange, like 60 inches flange to flange. Is that a 60-inch housing? Is that including the axle stick out from axle flange to axle flange or housing flange to housing flange? So be very clear with those words when you're saying, you know, with axles, without axles. Use those key words and it'll keep you out of trouble. So if you have any questions, give us a call. 260-301-2424, redbirdspeed.com. You can drop a comment below. 
uh, probably best to just call us. So we appreciate your support. Be sure to like and subscribe. We're going to keep talking about these, uh, these housing features. So hang in there with us. We appreciate your support. Have a good day.